Lucky you, you got yourself a Honda HRN 216 lawnmower. Hey guys, this is a great mower. We sell a ton of these at Carl's Mower and Saw, but I wanna go over real quick some of the things that you can do to get the maximum life out of this machine with the least amount of troubles, worries, and, and that sort of thing. So real quick, let's go over. If you bought it at a dealership, it's gonna have gas and oil in it. So you won't have to deal with that, but if you ended up buying this and it came in a box, it's gonna have come with some oil, so we're gonna to need to first start with making sure that it has oil in it and gas in it. Speaking of, let's go back, oil in it, 1030 Honda oil is what we run here at Carl's Mower and Saw. We feel that this oil right here is designed to run in this engine and, and give you maximum life. So always run a Honda 1030 oil, and when it comes to fuel, I'm gonna recommend an ethanol-free fuel that's usually a 90 octane or higher. If you don't have ethanol free fuel in your area, you can look at getting something like uh, this Startron fuel treatment to go with your fuel that helps offset some of the ethanol problems. Okay, so we've put oil in, we've put gas in, what's next? Well, we should make sure the spark plug is hooked up. So the spark plug is hooked up. We should probably set the height of cut up a little bit because we don't wanna scalp the lawn. Whoop, wrong way. Okay, it's ready. We're gassed, we're oiled. We're simply gonna pull this back, pull the rope. It's gonna start. If it's cold out, it's gonna go for a while and probably 30 seconds and it'll slowly smooth out. Don't worry, that's Honda's auto choke system and it's there with a little bit of choke on as that engine gets warmed up and going. So it's ready to mow. I've started it. What do I do now? Well, I should be on the grass. Right, you're probably on the grass. And then to make this thing move forward, it's simply push this rear tab down. The further I push, the faster it goes. Now, the position it came in from the dealership or out of the box may not be comfortable for you. So quickly, take a look. I can move this up or down to five different positions to find what's gonna be comfortable for me. Quick tip, way down here, is really hard on your wrist. You, sign, you find you're putting a lot of strain or you're using your thumbs like, like this. So come up just a little bit so it's more of a, a rest on there. Okay, so we know, how to, we know how to start it, we know how to drive it, we know that we got gas and oil. What do I need to do with this mower to get the best life out of it? Oil, initially at Carl's Mower and Saw, we request uh, that you bring your mower back in and we give you a free five hour check. So we're gonna change the oil within five hours get what we'll call the break-in oil out of the engine and get some fresh oil in. So we want to change the oil initially in five hours and then after that, Honda says every 50 hours. Now that could change depending on dusty, hot, those sort of conditions can actually make it worse. So you might need to change a little more often. I'm gonna say for most people, they're gonna mow 30, 40 times a year, an hour at a time. So let's just change the oil every year, okay? How do I change the oil on this? I'm gonna warm the engine up. I'm actually gonna come and I'm gonna tip it on its side, setting over a pan, and I'm gonna take this dipstick out. This engine will drain the oil when in this position. Actually, not quite. This engine likes to be tilted up to about there to drain the oil. So just a tip, if you won't go all the way over, you're not gonna end up draining your oil out. You're gonna to wanna to be in this position. Okay, so oil change initially at five and then every 50 hours or seasonally. How about winterizing? What do I need to do when it comes to winter storage? Here's my favorite. I like this Aspen 4 fuel. This is an ethanol free manufactured fuel for storage for perfect running. It's not made to necessarily run in an automobile, something that you're going through your gas every week. This is fuel that's designed for small engines, four machines that demand more, that sit more. So check out this Aspen 4. So when I store my mowers for the winter, this is what goes in it, okay? I probably aren't, am not gonna run this all season long, but winter storage, this is what I'm gonna store it with. Here's another thing, something we do here at Carl's, mow deck. This is a PAM for the mower deck. It's designed to help the grass from sticking. So. Tip the mower on its side. Now, which way do I tip this? Muffler down or air filter down? Here's a quick tip, put this in your brain. Never tip it with the air filter down or you'll fill that with oil. You're gonna to go to start it up. 
There's going to be oil in the air filter. You're going to smoke like crazy and you're going to foul out the spark plug. So never tip it air filter down, always muffler down. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to tip it on its side like this. The way they've designed this machine, you should not have to worry about spilling anything. You shouldn't have fuel coming out. You shouldn't have oil coming out. And this Modex spray, I'm going to hit the mower deck all the way around, hit these blades good. What this is going to do is, as I'm out mowing, it's going to keep that grass from building up and sticking. It's going to enhance my performance. One coat usually lasts six to eight weeks. It depends on how wet it is out, but I find this stuff really works well. So. Check out this Modec product if you haven't already. So we've got fuel, we've got oil, we've got ethanol free treatment. Always run a small gas can. Five gallons of gas, sweet, less trips to the fuel station. But a gallon of gas, a gallon's gonna last you a month, guys. We don't need gas lasting five gallons, five months, right? That's too long. So let's try to go through our gas quickly. Air filter, most overlooked item on this machine is the air filter. And that's right under here. I have two tabs I can push in, flips down. Here's my air filter in hand. I'm gonna tap it. I'm gonna see if I can see good light through this, okay? Pretty simple. I personally replace this once a year, probably a little more than I need to, but it's cheap, it's simple. It means it's not gonna fail halfway through next year. And we have a spark plug right up here in the front. I'd recommend replacing the spark plug on an annual basis. It's pretty easy to do. All right, let's put this air filter back in. Quick note, it goes in with the flat side towards the engine. I have seen them inserted wrong this way. It kind of crushes it. The problem is, is it sucks all of the dirt that's been building up in these little fins directly into the engine and you'll just roast your engine. There is a fuel shut off here on the side. Some people like to store their machines with the fuel shut off. So what they'll do is they'll put in their good gas. They'll shut the fuel off. They'll run it till it runs out of fuel. Uh, that's a toss up. If you're running perfect gas, I don't ne necessarily think that's the best approach because it leaves room for things to dry out. So congratulations, you own a Honda HRN. You know how to adjust the height. You know how to take care of this engine. Hopefully you know that you can quickly flip and fold this thing for storage. Oh wait, hey, I wanna point this out. So I can fold this thing up for storage or transport. When I come up, I'm gonna hit this point and there's a break on this engine. So if I wanna get these handles to come the rest of the way up, I'm gonna squeeze this and it allows it to quickly come back into position. Don't forget, read your full owner's manual. Some at Carl's Mower and Saw, we put your model and your serial, your date of purchase, you open this up and you got your Honda owner's manual. This machine has a three year warranty. We register it for you so you don't need to worry about that. How often do you get home, you throw the manual on the counter, I gotta register that warranty and you forget all about it. So thank you for purchasing a Honda HRN from Carl's Mower and Saw. We look forward to helping you out with your next outdoor power equipment purchase.